All right, so, if you ever watched the show of All for Adventure, when we went out to Little Eva, this is the Bundy, this is the Bundera that we took out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how well this thing handled the job. And mate, I'll tell you what, there was some serious country that we bashed it through and we pushed it to its absolute limits, not only the, the vehicle, but myself and Simon to get out to that aeroplane. So let's check her out and see what you think. Well, let's start with the front. The bull bar, well, it was mowing down trees like there was no tomorrow. Oh, it's got a few little marks on it. A couple little marks there. I haven't given it a wash, mind you. Spotlights, they were sitting there the whole time on the front of this truck. The whole time. I'll just uh, do a quick adjustment. There we go. Good as new. The winch, the winch is sitting there. If you have a look in here, it's still got half the bush in here. Half the trees that we're smashing down are still sitting in here. And as soon as you fire up the winch, good as gold. We winched it up that big steep embankment, everything. I was just expecting things to explode. But no, tough as nails. Have a look up the top here, we got the light bar. Oh, I cut the flogging from branches, trees, so did the roof rack, the old rhino rack, the x-ray light bars, the TJM bull bar, the 9,000 pound winch. Man, this truck got an absolute flogging. And the suspension, check it out. Oh, cracker of suspension, not a problem with it. Done the job, ran the big BFs. I could not believe these tires. BF Goodrich tires, I couldn't believe it. Mate, that bush that we were smashing through, that would destroy normal tires. These are a tough set of tyres. If you have a look at her, the old snorkel's copped a bit of a flogging. That's all right, the old TJM snorkel. Got, uh, yeah, the roof rack's still in good condition. It's all grass and sticks and trees. And look, she's, the, the Juco's a bit, you know, a bit how you going. Could do with a bit of a buff, the old Juco, you know, but, Unbelievable. Well, there you go. This was an absolute cracker to drive through the bush, especially in that tight, weavy sort of stuff. It just, it was almost, it was more maneuverable than the buggy, because it didn't have the tires hanging out. We've got a couple of little crack flares and stuff like that. There's one there and there's a little one up the front. But a lot of those sidebars, mate, those sidebars did all the bash work. So the panels, there's not, there's not even a din on the panels. Well, there you go, cracker of a truck, and the gear we put on it is what made all the difference. If this thing was stock, I think it would have got an absolute flogging. That's if it even, that's if it even would have made it to base camp before we went out to the plane.